Samsung Notes. It's a great productivity tool that helps keeps your thoughts frictionless and organized on your phone. Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV. Today we are going to explore five Samsung Notes features that you should be using right now. Samsung Notes, if you're on a Samsung, is the GOAT of note-taking platforms. I know there's a lot of third-party solutions out there now that definitely are a lot more cross-platform than what Samsung Notes is. But if you're in the Samsung ecosystem, there is no better note-taking device than you should be using. My first feature that I think is a new one that's just sprung up this year is Galaxy AI. Samsung have built AI into various platforms and services, but inside Samsung Notes, it is probably the best use case for AI. Once you've got your note taken down or whether you've copied information into Samsung Notes into a note file, you can use the little AI toolbar down the bottom to activate four different functions. I have gone through them in a separate video, but to save you from having to go check it out, let's explore them here as well. There's auto format, there's summarize, there's translate, and there's spelling and grammar. Starting with auto format, what you'll find with this function is that it basically takes text that you've created or, or put down on paper, metaphorical paper, of course, and then formats it in a way that makes it look neat and organized. There's two different ways. There's a meeting notes and then there's headers and bullets. Both kind of give you a variation of the same thing. They sort of format it, they give you colors and structure, and then you can replace it or add it to a new note. As you sort of swipe through the different options as well, you can see what's available. And then yeah, you can choose to replace the one that you have or add it to a new page or a new note. Fantastic. Now it is limited. You can only do a certain number of pages, which is a little bit disappointing but Summarize doesn't have those limitations. When you have a massive body of text in your notes file, you can select it with Summarize, and then using the Summarize function, it, I'm just gonna say Summarize a lot, it literally summarizes it for you. And then again, same as what the auto format does, you can replace or you can add it to a different note or a new page. Where this really comes in handy is if you are taking notes in a class or in a meeting, and you just need to send like sort of cliff notes or minutes, you can summarize the whole thing and send it off without having to read through the whole thing yourself. Let AI take care of it for you. Translate and spelling and grammar, they're, they're pretty self-explanatory. Translate will literally translate the note into a different language the, from, from the language packs that you have installed on the phone. Spelling and grammar will read through the document you've created and then correct it for any spelling and grammar mistakes. And then you can replace it and it looked like you never even had the mistakes in the first place. So that's the first part, Galaxy AI. The second part of Samsung Notes is the folder structure. Samsung, a couple of years ago, built in a complete file system into Samsung Notes. Before, it was a little bit of a organized chaos, I wanna say, in that, yeah, the notes were, were in a structure, but there was no home for them. Whereas bringing folders in, you could actually now start to create folders and even subfolders, and then drag and drop things into place. It's great. It's in the hamburger menu on the left hand side you'll see folders in there you can create a new folder but also you can create folders in the other way as well when you're in a folder you'll see all the notes and you'll even see the subfolders attached to it too to drag and drop files into where they need to go you simply just select it drag it and then drop it into the folder you want you can also add it to a folder once you've created the note so you, you can see the little folder icon and add it directly to the folder that you want it to go into genius i guess folders have been around for a while but still genius number three is the s pen and of course this is relative only to the s pen devices devices like the tab s9 series devices like the s24 s23 s22 ultra and the fold even if you have that as a separate accessory the S Pen just opens up a different level of productivity within Samsung Notes. Not only do you have the ability with screen off memo to quickly jot down a note and then it saves the Samsung Notes automatically, but you also have the ability to do things like translate directly to digital text or create shapes. If you wanted to draw like diagrams, it'll snap the shapes to proper straight lines. You can also format the text in a way so it's straight. So if you're someone who writes crooked, me, it will automatically correct that for you. Again, I've done a video on the S Pen, so you can go check that out, but it's just such a great tool to have housed away in the phone. So you don't have to think about needing an extra peripheral. The phone has it for you, particularly with the Ultra flagships. Let me know which S Pen feature you like using within Samsung Notes. My favorite that I really like is the easy writing pad. I really like the ability to bring up a magnified view down the bottom, write in it, and then it sort of consolidates it neatly at the top where it should go. That's really cool. It's in the toolbar, if you haven't used it before. 
down there and you can write big, but it'll make it small. It's clever. Number four is audio recording. This one is incredibly clever. Samsung have built a way to marry up meetings where you dictate and also where you want to handwrite as well. To make this work, you basically like attach an audio recording and then you press record. And then what will happen is the microphones get activated and it will record what's happening around you. As you are writing down your note, it will attach the voice that's being said at that time to the text that you are writing. So if you're writing down a long meeting minutes or meeting notes or lecture, what you can do is basically just write like one word or a couple of words to sort of help jot your memory. And then what you can do later is when you're playing the audio back, it will give you more context to your note. And it'll basically show you what you were writing at the time of the voice being spoken. This I love. What's great too is if you tap on the word, it will jump to that bit of the audio. So if you wanted to just find out what was said at a specific point, tap on it and it'll jump ahead. It'll really help save time when you are taking notes and give you more context to what it is you're writing down. Because if you're like me, you don't necessarily get to write the whole thing down and you might be a bit ambiguous in what you're writing Whereas listening to it will give you the full picture. Take a listen. So today I want to talk about what's going to happen next week because next week's really important to our business. So next week we want to sales, uh, not just money, but percent. And the last point is ecosystem. Samsung Notes is a part of Samsung's ecosystem of devices. So whether that be the Tab series, whether that be your other phone, if you... If you have a second phone or whether that be the galaxy book 4 ultra that you've got it sort of ties into the samsung ecosystem really nicely and it's fast if you start a note on one device within 12 seconds it's on the other device ready to go providing you've turned syncing on and have your samsung cloud logged in on both devices which you should have so there's no real argument to be made about that but what i really enjoy about this is for me i like to maybe start a thought on my phone so I could be sitting down on the couch at night, have an idea, write the heading, write a couple of lines, and there it goes. And then when I have a bit more time up my sleeve, I can pick up my Tabis 9 Ultra, and it's sitting there waiting for me, so I can start to work on it a bit more. And then when I need to sort of flesh it out and refine it, I jump on the laptop, and it's there again. So there's lots of different ways that this can work and it's all tying in nice and seamlessly and all gets updated really nicely. Just another thing to add to that as well is there's a shared notes. So if you are working on a document with someone else, you have the ability to live sync that and sort of work on it together. Just another sort of string to the bow of Samsung Notes. So they're my five top Samsung Notes features that you definitely need to check out. Let me know if there's something that you use it that I haven't covered because I'm interested to see how other people use Samsung Notes as well. Whilst you're here, make sure you hit subscribe to us here at Sam Mobile TV. You can also go and check us out on our website, sammobile.com, where there is everything to do with Samsung. And I mean everything, wall-to-wall -wall Samsung coverage, software, apps, features, future stuff. It's all there, so go check it out. We're also on pretty much all the social media platforms, so you can come and find us on those. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.